Okay, hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to create grid line in Intel 18. Okay, so let's start by opening the file Intel. Uh, at first, we open the file Intel. We can see, we can select all the new, new model. And then in this option, we can select uh, which one we can use. But uh, I recommend I, I use this option. I click on this uh, option. And display unit, uh, you can select a unit you want to, to, to use. Uh, like uh, US customary, metric SI, or metric uh, MKS. Uh, but I use uh, metric SI. So I click on metric SI. And uh, still section of that base, I, I choose this and still design code, I choose this and uh, concrete design code, I use uh, as I, uh, I, I use this option. Okay, so uh, then uh, click on OK. And then uh, it will appear this option. In this option, you can uh, click on blank flag, uh, grid only or anything we, we can select. But uh, for me, uh, for, for the first step, I, I, I click on blank flag. So after we click on blank flag, we can uh, use to create grid line by uh, our So we click on a blank flag. Okay, after we choose on blank text, we, we, we don't see anything uh, here. So we go to create grid line, we can go to uh, edit, and we click on edit story and grid system. <coughs> okay, after we, we, we click on it, we can see a uh, story of that and a uh, grid system G1. Okay, so uh, we can uh, add new or add new grid system or we can modify this G1. So I, I, I choose to modify this G1, so I click on uh, modify the whole grid system. And then we can see the grid system now, we can change or we don't want to change. Uh, I, I, I don't want to change, I use uh, G1, uh, I, use, I still use G1. So in this option we can, we can see a rectangular grid. We can see grid data by as uh, ordinate or we can use a uh, display grid data as spacing uh, but I usually use uh, by ordinate so I click on display grid uh, as ordinate and then this option uh, uh, grid line along a grid data and along y axis so I click on add on a axis I click on add in here, uh, grid ID. Grid ID is a label of your grid. So you want to add for, for example, I add for A, and I click on Add. After I click on Add, it will show letter B automatically. And for alternate, I use a uh, grid A at row, and grid B at a uh, five meter. Uh, and I add one more. It will show C. And and if I uh, use uh, from B to C as 3 meter, so I click on, I, I, I modify it to 8 meter. Uh, it is mean uh, 0, plus 5, and plus 3 meter. Uh, okay, and, and I, I, I add one more grid. I add one more grid, I, 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 I want to, uh, to use it a uh, 5 meter too. So it will become uh, uh, 13, 13, 13 meter. Okay. Uh, this, 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 uh, this view, we can see a 5 meter, 3 meter, and 5 meter. So along with going at this, we can click on add. And I want, I want a grid ID, I want it display as a number. So I click on number 1. And then I click on add. It will show number 2 automatically. And, uh, the ordinate of, uh, grid number 2, I use it, uh, Four meter, and I add one more. Uh, four meter. Uh, okay, uh, three three meter. And I click on add again, and I want it a uh, four meter. So 
ว่าอ๋อนอนสิอ uh, three plus four e c o m e s seven meter, and I want the grid number four, uh, four meter. So four plus seven it will it will become eleven meter. Okay, okay like this, and then we click on okay, and I click on refresh view. We can see we can see the grid line like this, and we uh elevation view. A uh, 3D elevation and an elevation view. Uh, so I want to show you this side. So I go to modify again. And in this bubble side, okay, you can see a bubble side. Bubble side. If I increase it to 1000, and I click on OK, and I click on refresh view. Uh, wait to see this. Uh, after I click on refresh view, you can see uh, this level uh, becomes smaller. And if you want to uh, bigger or smaller, you can you can change this value. Okay. Okay, and the uh, system origin, you can uh, click on. You can change to alternate you want to change, and if you want to rotation your alternate or not. Uh, you want to rotation your grid line or not? You can click on this and import your value. Okay for. For oh, one more, I want to add. Uh, I want to add one more. I want to add a uh, five meter more. So it, it will become eighteen, eighteen meter. Okay, then I, I I click on okay. Okay, and I refresh you. It will become one more grid, grid space. Okay, you can see a uh, five meter, three meter, five meter, and five meter. Uh, four meter, three meter, and four meter. And for uh. For elevation view, for elevation view, we can click on story data. We can see a story data here, and we click on go. We we go to modify story data. We click on modify, and in this uh in this story, we can change the name to uh story one or story two or or floor one, floor two. You want you you can you can change it uh as one two. S three, S four, okay, and this uh this base this base is uh uh we use a uh, zero meter, and the high, uh story high you can uh you can change all this. Uh for story high for example I use this base to first floor first floor is a uh, stamp column, so I use it a uh, one meter. Uh. I, I I click uh, I type one one meter it will become one one meter elevation here okay you can see one meter elevation here and for first floor to second floor I use uh, four meter four meter it will become uh, it will become five meter in elevation okay uh, after uh uh third floor I can use uh, three point five and third fourth floor I use uh, three point five meter okay okay and if you want to add more story you can click on this you click on click on this and you you can right click on it and you can add select on add story and and then you you you, you see these two options that's mean you want to keep existing story high or you want to keep a uh, uh, existing story elevation so I want to add story and I I want to keep a story uh story high so I click on story high. Uh story high uh 3.5 meter uh number of story you want to add. You want to add one so one story or you want to add two or three or four or five story. Okay, I I want to add on the two story, I click on two, I, I click number two and new story location, new story location will be uh where you want to add so I want to add it uh, above F4 or I want to add it uh, above S3 so I want to add it uh, above F4 okay and then from existing story uh, you can select on, on this uh, F4 okay and and then we click on OK uh, after we click on OK we can see we can see uh, okay we can see story uh, the story name and that's an change yet so we can change to f5 and f6 okay and we click on refresh view 
After we click on refresh view, we can see that uh, data has uh, 3D view. We can see uh, how many story uh, Okay, and then click on OK. And we click on OK then. After that, so we can see uh, this uh, grid line up here. And this is a 3D view. We can click, we can hold a uh, control button and we click on uh, our row map. Uh, oh, we click, uh, we hold a uh, six button and uh, click on uh, our, our mouse, middle mouse. Hold, hold and we can uh, move it. Okay. Okay, thank you for your watching this video and please subscribe to my channel and to get more videos.